Hello everyone. The other thing that was not mentioned in the live stream is how to generate characters at random. So if you have multiple humans that you wanted to swap between and not necessarily place down, or if you have like a bunch of foliage, like a, uh, let's say 10 models for trees or so on and so forth, um, there are kind of uh, there's a nice way to do that and to be able to place individual ob or um, really one collection of objects that will act the same but having random meshes and this is the way that I did it for mine so I have over here my crowd character which I dragged out and there is actually six meshes that it's translating between as I move um, and that's because I'm using the construction script so in Unreal, there is the event script and the construction script, the or the event graph, I should say. the The construction script is it, it allows the level designer to have an easier time placing things in its level um, by kind of automatically putting things together and basically having some logic every time you move something in the editor. However, when you run the game that is a it is set like it's done and you don't necessarily need to do anything else to compile it so in other words this character as I move it will constantly change however when I set it there that's it um, so in the final product of the game this character will be just as it is because the construction script just is within the end within the engine itself um, the event graph happens afterwards so I have a little random walking thing. Um, I have a... okay, here we go. I have a little um, walking event for my AI to just walk around randomly. Uh, so when I hit play level, you'll see that my character will begin walking um, as based off of the character's um, kind of in the event graph. So here, let me show you this. So what I did to get the random, or it to select randomly, is pretty simple. All I did was select a random integer between the range between 0 and 5 because I have six, um, I have six characters to translate between. I created a switch statement which is kind of like a a compacted if statement saying if it's this, if it's 0 or if it's one, if, or if it's two, so on and so forth, to then go and uh, set the skeletal mesh component inside of mesh, which is right here, to my the models that I want. So this uh, blonde girl, buff guy, cute girl, so on and so forth. Um, and that's really it. It's pretty simple. So all you really need to do is if you have, let's say, 10 models, pump this up to 9, create 9 pins by adding a pin. Um, and so that goes into the construction script. Same thing with your event graph over here. Or, well, with the event graph is just the logic of your character in-game, while the construction script helps you add stuff easily within the editor. Um, so to further illustrate my point with the construction script, I've created kind of these complex objects, like for example the spline actor, I know I was mentioning this during the live stream, um, but with the splines, I, I'm able to um, kind of push it forward and move it back however I want. However, if it's in, like, once I set it there, it's done. It doesn't need to be converted into a skelet into a static mesh because it actually already is static mesh. So it's really just there to help the editor, or to help the level designer. And I just thought I'd illustrate this point. Thank you for watching, and th th this really concludes the end of that muted part of the end of the live stream. So I hope this addresses questions, and once again, I'm sorry for the technical difficulty. Thank you.